was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up 'cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. And I'm thinking out loud. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you. Making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna. Try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Hello, long time no see. 
um, I just wanted to pop on and give you a heads up of a few things that are happening in my Etsy shop. Um, at the moment there is a mystery box available to buy and it's autumn, autumn themed one so all things Huga and Cozy and Autumnal are going to be in that box so if you'd like to get one pop on over to my shop there are still just a few available. But I also want to let you know about the Christmas box, yes it is happening. Um, it's going to go on sale in my shop on Wednesday night, Wednesday is the 1st of September, it'll be available from 7pm um, and it's a Christmas mystery box basically but it's bigger and better than the usual mystery boxes so you'll still get the project bag and um, a yarn but you also get way more um, gifts and just bigger and better basically so yeah it's a real Christmas treat so if you're looking for a gift for yourself or something for a friend then it's the perfect gift and it's going to be all all things sort of cosy as well um, it's not all knitting themed or crochet themed or anything like that so anyone who's into crafts um, will enjoy it because obviously you get the project bag and a yarn um, so yeah I hope you guys are gonna um, want to get involved in that so yeah on sale Wednesday night um, I've had a few shop updates lately as well so there are still a few things in my shop from those I've had a uh, a nice update of some project bags that were Snoopy themed. I do have some footage so I will put that in now. I just love those Snoopy fabrics, they're so fun. So there's a few project bags left and some of the needle cases and DP and cozies, so go and have a look. I've got some more bags going in the shop within the next few days, they're just waiting on their finishing touches. I've also had a few shop updates containing lots of, well you can see all the fabrics up here. I've had to extend my shelf a bit to fit more bolts of fabric in, but it looks like a proper fabric shop now. Um, yeah, I've had a few shop updates with lots of stationery items in them, so have a look there as well. There was a really big one a couple of weeks ago with lots of new autumnal themed things in, so washi tapes and stickers. Um, what else? I can't remember, but yeah, washi tapes and stickers basically.
have a look there's some stuff still still there are some things still left and I've got a few more things on order as well. So keep your eyes peeled over the next few days and weeks for new things popping in the shop. Instagram's the best place to keep up with any shop updates because as you can probably tell, I'm not really keeping up with vlogging very easily at the moment. Although that being said, schools are now back here in Scotland so I'm hoping to get back into my regular routine of things. Um, my son started high school. It's going well so far. It's, it's um, yeah, it's very busy days lots of different subjects so we are now we've had one full week one and a half weeks we've had so last week was our first full week so yeah we're both pretty tired from setting the alarm and getting up early and having really busy days but it's been great for me as well to get back into the swing of doing what I love um so yeah the next few weeks are going to be planning Christmassy bits and pieces and working on other mystery boxes I've got some fabrics coming for autumn halloween type themed project bags as well so looking forward to making some bags with those um yeah not much else i can tell you i'll give you a little peek of the bags that are waiting to go in the shop they've got just waiting on some drawstrings um so i've got some nice plain ones oh i should also say that this um sort of linen look fabric is now available to buy in my shop as well there's a polka dot one and also a really nice stripe these you can see just what what nice fabrics these are really thick they're not linen but they're cotton linen look um they're lovely i really like using them and i've got a few bags still sort of hanging on to the summery themed ones before moving on to full sort of autumnal theme that's a really nice fabric that's a new one can you just see these bits here are metallic and then the dots on the top are metallic as well and then just Oh, I've got more metallic. Look at that. That is metallic gold dots. I don't know if you're getting a good view of that, but that's just beautiful. Um, yeah, just a whole whole host of bags. I'm not really showing you the best. Not the best way of showing you them at the minute. You're getting some close-ups of, of my face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've tried to use mainly similar fabrics here. Just I think it just makes a nice little collection. It all ties in and all matchy-matchy. And then another one with the silver floral and some red gingham. This is sort of edging towards an autumnal feel, I think. Really nice. Um, so yeah, they're going to go in the shop soon. I've got another pile on my desk that haven't been sewn up yet. So over the next few days, that's my job. Um, and then get them photographed, obviously, and up in the shop.
Just doing a little bit of homework with my new plant to make sure that I've got it in the right place and stuff because I'm not very good with house plants. Outdoor plants I can manage just fine, but house plants, mm, yeah, not great. So I'm trying to improve my knowledge. I got these two books earlier in the year, I treated myself to them for my birthday, um, and they're really, hen really handy, and I've really been enjoying looking through them. And it's surprising how, how many you recognise but you didn't know the name of and stuff like that. So my new one is a piece of lily which I got in Aldi the other day. I saw it and thought I would like that. And I know that they don't have to be in the brightest conditions which is quite good because my living room is north facing so it's not very bright. So it's currently in the living room and it's looking quite happy. I think I'm doing everything right at the moment. I'm also checking out another couple of plants that I've got. I got some aloe vera sent to me from a viewer. They are doing really well. Um, I've got one here in the sitting room, but I'm just reading that it might actually prefer somewhere a bit brighter. So I think it's going to get moved to the sewing room. Um, and I've also got another little plant which I've just been reading up on. And I think I might go and pop that up into a nice new pot and maybe that can come up to the sewing room too. I'm just enjoying having a little flick through. It's a Sunday morning and just having some quiet time. This is a really, really nice book. I have one of these, but I'll show you the state of it right now. Oh dear. I don't know what has gone wrong with that one. It has been repotted, it's had new soil. It's just, I've never been able to get it back from the, the brink of death, so. I think I'm just going to have to face that it's going to have to go in the bin. There's a tiny little shoot down there looking not too bad, so I might see if I can root that out and um, bring that on. I did try and do some cuttings of it, but they just failed, so yeah, I hate throwing anything out, especially if there's any any greenery on it. I'll hang on to the last, to the last leaf dies, but yeah, that's looking a bit pathetic. No idea what went wrong with that one. Maybe I should read my book, maybe it's in the wrong place. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong. Just, yeah, no idea. I've been a very lucky girl this week. I got an amazing package from a viewer. These are items from Chelsea Yarns podcast slash vlog. I was watching her vlogmas last year and she was showing a lot of these mugs and a viewer contacted me to, to let me know she'd got one for me. It is enormous. I don't know if you can really get the scale of this mug. It's huge, but it would be amazing for like nice big hot chocolates in the winter. It looks enamel, but it's not as proper like China. Um, so that is amazing. And Diane also sent me this absolutely beautiful yarn. That is so me and it's so autumn, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is a... Superwash Merino, 100%, so I have no idea what to make with that, so if you've got any suggestions for me, bearing in mind I really only know how to do socks, I'm not a very experienced knitter, um, so if you've got any ideas, please let me know. It's just beautiful, it's so soft as well, that would be because it's, um, what did I say, it was Merino, it's so nice, such a nice colour. She sent me some stitch markers as well, progress creepers, from some of the most well-known like American and Canadian um, well not only podcasts but they are shops as well aren't they so that's so cool to have a little selection from across the pond I should say that the lady who sent me these lives in America but she is home in Scotland visiting family so she managed to post them uh, using the UK postage system rather than having them sent from America so thank you Diane these were some amazing gifts to receive so lucky. <laughs> 